this is Green Spirit. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would make a craft. Uh, in particular, we're going to go ahead and make a moon face wall hanging. Uh, there's my kitty Solstice. Uh, she is such a familiar cat. <laughs> she hangs out all the time whenever I'm crafting. Um, essentially, uh, you're going to need these particular materials. You are going to need, obviously, some scissors. Uh, this foam board you do not need. It's just there to protect my carpet. You're going to need some glitter foam, uh, a page or two. This will depend, how many you get will depend on uh, the size of the stencil that you're trying to use or your, your round uh, surface. Don't do that, kitty. Uh, I only paid about 77 cents a piece for these and then again I also got two pieces of black um, foam as well. You're going to need a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, you are going to need um, an image of, oh I don't know if my phone, there we go, you're going to need an image of some moon phases and my kitty loves pencils. She's trying to get them. Uh, you're going to need a pencil to be able to trace um, your stencil. Here's the stencil I'm using. This is the top of um, a metal canister that I have. That's what I'm using as my reference. You're going to need some ribbon. Uh, you can use twine. Whatever is more aesthetically pleasing to you. And you're also going to need some sticks, obviously, to hang it with. I've got a couple in a different size because I don't know how, um, which one I'm going to like the best. So once I get done um, creating all the moons, then I will decide which stick um, I'm going to use. So without further ado, we're going to get started here in just a minute. Thanks. Okay, everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trace using whatever you're using to make your circle. You're going to go ahead and trace it on the back of one of your glitter foam sheets. We're going to make a total of eight circles. I You might be wondering why I'm doing this because obviously only one of them is going to be a full moon. The reason I'm tracing all of them and cutting them out is because I want the edges to all be the same. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and make crescents out of the other pieces. You obviously will have some extra foam left over, but you can always save that for an additional project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trace all of these, and then I'll be back in a minute. Thanks. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and cut out all my circles from my glitter foam paper. Uh, I'm going to do repeat the same process now with the black and then we'll continue on. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and cut all these um, circles from both the black and the silver. The black now, I don't know if you guys can see that, is all sparkly because of the glitter which is kind of cool. Um, in fact, I may like do that to get a little bit more sparkle. <laughs> On the uh, on the black foam because technically these are part of the moon as well obviously the idea is that the moon actually glows because of the Sun and that's why it's sparkly anyway so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my image again here on my phone okay and then I'm gonna match up so I got, I'm going to decide which one of these is going to be the full moon. And then the idea is that I'm going to go and I'm going to place, see, like I'm going to place the black piece over the silver piece and then it will create each of the moon phases this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place some glue. Um, I have warmed up my um, hot glue here. I'm going to start with a low setting because I've never glued foam um, to foam with a hot glue gun and I don't want it to melt or do anything. So I'm starting in the low setting. If it doesn't work, then I'll move it up to, to high heat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and 
create each of my moon phases by adding this black piece to my silver piece and then what I will do is glue it down and then once it's glued together I'm going to flip it over and then just cut the excess so don't feel like you have to make it um, you have to worry about cutting that edge that's why I was trying to make them all the same size because I wanted the edges to match up to the crescents okay all right so let's get started You may have to trim a little bit of the excess part of the moon. But see, now you've created a moon phase. And then we will just continue um, doing that. I have selected the best um, full moon and dark moon circles. Because obviously when you cut with scissors um, and then when you're cutting foam, it's not going to be perfect just because, you know, how you handle the scissors, how the foam slips in between the scissors. So I did select a full moon and a dark moon and then here I am creating um, essentially a waxing crescent. And then I'm going to choose another circle. And then what I'm going to do with this one to create this particular uh, moon face, which is the first quarter, is I'm just going to basically match it up. Then cut it in half. And then I'm going to do that and see if you can see, like, because it's not perfectly cut. Let's see if I can get a more even one. Yeah. So I will go ahead and add this one and then trim the edges if they need to be trimmed so that they match up. And then you get your next moon face. So just continue um, creating each of the crescents and um, we'll... We'll see what it ends up at the end. Thanks. Okay, everybody. So now I'm going to be attempting to do the waxing gibbous. If you notice on the waxing gibbous, the black portion is a little bit, um, it's just a little sliver. So in order to get that sliver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the silver pieces and I'm going to place... Oh goodness, there we go. I'm gonna place one of the black pieces over it. And then I'm gonna take another silver piece and then go ahead and kind of adjust it so that I get a crescent because I don't wanna necessarily cut my silver piece around that way. Uh, what I will be doing instead is I'm gonna be tracing this circular edge so that it marks the black piece and then I'll just cut the excess. Um, I like the fact that if you notice the silver pieces are under the black and if I did it the other way it would make it so that the silver piece would be on top instead of on the bottom. Okay. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and finished all the circles. I've gone ahead and decided which stick I'm going to go ahead and use. I've decided to use the stick from my travel down to Dinosaur, 
I like the texture of it and I did cut off a little bit of the end. I also have decided on the placement of my circles. So you can do this um, however it looks more aesthetically pleasing to you. You can do it kind of tiered where you have four and then you know three, that kind of a thing. But I think I just like it like this, very even and cohesive. So that will be up to you. I've also gone ahead and cut uh, one long piece of ribbon. I went ahead and measured it a according to the length of my stick and added about one to two inches to that ribbon. And what I will do is I will tie the ribbon um, around each of these sides or I will hot glue each end so that then it can hang up. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I've now cut another piece of ribbon, used my stick again as a guide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this part of the ribbon, wrap it around and glue it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, essentially flip, I guess the black it doesn't matter, but what I will do is I will flip my, um, my silver piece over which is my full moon and then I will place the ribbon once this is wrapped around and caught glued in place then this ribbon runs along the back of each of these two pieces and I'm going to hot glue the ribbon onto these pieces and then then that will create the the hanging um, moon phases um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to leave a little tail end. I may just so that it looks kind of cool. You can also possibly leave a little bit of a length if you want to add anything else to the bottom. Perhaps some crystals or anything you'd like. But I'm going to make mine pretty basic. So once I get all of this um, glued down, um, we'll be able to hang it up. Okay, so just a minute and I'll get back on here. Thanks. Okay everybody, so here's our finished project. Uh, I've gone ahead and temporarily hung this up. I had to run around my house trying to find a, a usable nail because I'm actually out of nails. But this is how it turned out. I think it came out really nice. If I have one suggestion, it would be that if, um, once you get done, you'll notice that the backs aren't very pretty. Um, you could, if you'd like, you know, cut some additional circles and glue them to the back so it looks a little neater. But otherwise, it's just going to be hanging on the wall in this way so no one will see the back. But I hope you enjoyed making this craft with me. Um, I know that certain parts of the video got... I didn't realize my camera wasn't in the best angle. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed making it regardless. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for future videos from me. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for hanging out with me and goodbye.